One of my side hustles, and I think you guys know this, I have done press screenings for movies for a long time. I have contributed reviews to websites like Screen Rant and ComicBookMovie.com and other radio stations and things of that nature. I've done this for a while. So I have been hosting uh, premiere screenings for a bit. Some of you have gone to these. Some of you have not. The way this works, they send out so many invitations. It's first come, first serve. This is through Prime. Amazon Prime does a thing where if they release a movie on Amazon, they will do a pre-screening in a theater for a couple of movies. So like the la- we did the Eddie Murphy Candy Cane Lane one. Last week, I did the new Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Last night, did this movie called Upgraded, which is the chick from Riverdale, and it's uh, basically it's a rom-com. So these people come in. Most of them are nice. Last week, there's an elderly lady that has tried, and I feel bad because I'm getting old lady karma. She has tried every week to come in, and every week it's a different excuse. But I have to have a... Prime members, how I don't know how they do it. They scan it, and you get scanned in. I have to account for physical bodies. So if you don't have a either printed out barcode or barcode on your phone, I cannot let you in. Because, Kelly, if I give Rick a seat, even though he doesn't have one, and then all of a sudden you show up 10 minutes later, I have to remove Rick from that seat to let you in. But you guys understand what I'm saying, Yeah, right? so all the seats are accounted for. All the seats are accounted okay. they're, they're first come, first serve, but all the seats are accounted from. Gotcha. So I have 135 seats in the theater. When they're full, they're full. Yeah. So... This lady tried to get in last week, and it's always, oh, I threw my tickets away, or my husband had, okay, can't let you in. Last week, I had to have the theater rem- manager remove her. Oh, no. I did. I felt so bad, but I couldn't help it. I had a sold-out house. I had a guy that wanted to sit on the floor that I said no to, so I had to get her out. This week, this lady comes in, and I always tell people when they go in, you it's first come, first serve. You can sit anywhere except for the handicap row, which is what I think is normal, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. This woman comes in, and first, she's outside as I'm checking her in. She says, can I get an extra? I'm like, I can't give you an extra. Well, he wants to tag along with us. That's not my problem. I cannot give you an extra. I physically have to account for every body that's in there. It's not about extra. It's about if I have 135 seats, I need 135 barcodes, period, no questions asked. So this guy stands around moping because I won't let him in. That's strike (laughs) one. Okay? Okay. So, well, I guess I'll just go do something else. Text me when you leave. Yeah, I guess you will because you don't have a ticket. (laughs) So he goes. She goes in, and I'm seating an elderly lady and her grandson or somebody else in the handicap row. Because I'm trying to find seats, and I ask people to move so they don't leave singles in the middle. Trying to find seats. This woman walks in, and here's strike two. She says to me, who's sitting there? I'm like, that lady and her son. Well, I'm handicapped, and I can't very well say... Can you prove it? So I'm like, okay. So the other lady was nice, and they go, we'll move. So they moved into a like lower section. She brought her little dog in with her, which pissed me off for two reasons. One, loud movie theaters, not good for dogs. You don't have a service dog, and you're pretending that you are. And two, you're a hole of the ass because you didn't think for a second about anybody else that might have dog allergies or pet allergies that you're sitting by. So she brings her dog into the theater and takes the handicap seat. Tell, am I wrong, or is this chick an elderly... I'm like, listen, elderly princess, I can't ask you for your handicap... Uh, you know, borderline elderly princess. I can't ask you for your handicap credentials, but you're wrong. Am I right? Am I wrong? Well, uh, I think that if she wouldn't have tried to get away with something already, now you're suspicious of her because she's trying to strong arm somebody who doesn't have a ticket in there. So that, like you said, it's strike one. Now you already have an attitude about her. So whether or not she was actually handicapped, you're already suspicious because she's trying to bend the rules. Correct. And then she brings a dog in. So, no, I would be annoyed, very annoyed by and that. And it's not person. a service dog. She didn't have, I've seen service dogs. Service dogs have to wear the little vest yeah. that yeah. says service yep. dog. Yep. You have your little chihuahua in your little Paris Hilton carrier. That's not a service dog. That's a support animal. Right. <laughs> they call it. But you're a hole of the ass for bringing your support animal into a loud theater. That 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 never should have been allowed to start. Correct. The whole support animal thing never, ever should have happened. Correct. So I was, needless to say, beyond irritated. Did you just leave it go, or did I you had kick to? Her I didn't out? have a yeah. choice. Okay, because she had, and then she's like, "Well, I'm an Amazon Prime member. Well, whip the effing do! <laughs> I didn't realize 
Jamie Mohan just texted and said, I would have broke her leg just to make sure she was handicapped. <laughs> well, that's the thing. You know, with that, you kind of have to let that go because you can't say prove it. I mean, you know, you have to. But I want to. Oh, I'm sorry. You have you're to a, provide. For you're her. a prime member. Well, excuse me. Can I give you a massage while you watch the movie while you're at it? I didn't realize buying stuff online made you special. <laughs> Oh, my gosh. So I've been irritated for, we're going on, well, let's say about 12 hours now. <laughs> 13 hours now. Um, but am I wrong? Because if I'm wrong, please, Blitz Nation, call me out. Uh, Emily said Lewis sees through the new B, the, or I'm sorry, sees through the, the BS new superpower. Ugh. I mean, that's the thing is you do get attitudes when people, like, right off the bat, start trying to bend the rules and get away with something with you and you are there to enforce the rules so already you know this person's not above board let me preface this as a as the rep or the host i have a seat in the theater so i can see and make sure everything plays okay there's no issues there's no prop piracy issues or any of that stuff. right so i have to be in there typically i usually take the one handicapped seat by itself because it's the solo seat by itself. There was a time a couple of weeks ago when someone came in with a wheelchair and I surrendered my seat and I stood against the wall for the entire movie because, you know, the handicapped yeah. person came in. It's their sure. right to that chair, not mine. Sure. Yeah, I get This it. case wasn't like that. You bumped an elderly lady out of a seat where she was sitting with her grandson. Yeah, that's really so bad. So you could sit there with your dog and your friend. And it's stuck with me ever since. Yeah. Like, I, if you... This is the kind of person that should be allowed to be punched in the face. Not by me, because I don't hit women. But somebody should punch you in the face. Mm -mm -mm. Well, you, uh, I am, I'm still looking for uh, somebody who thinks you were wrong. Um, Ashley said, I don't think you're wrong at all. Bye, Karen. Plus, you treated her respectfully. You just were feeling these feelings internally. Like, annoyed. You didn't do anything. You didn't say anything. Mm, but I wanted to. Yeah. I apologize to the grandma. I'm like, <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. Doug says, how do I get in on the screenings? <laughs> I have no problem whooping some grandma ass. <laughs> <laughs> there was one at Polaris last night. I'm just saying. So, I don't know. Anyway, feel free to weigh in because that's where I stand on it. Uh, let's see. K Van says, people are A of the holes and... Oh, and stupid <laughs> shadows. I was with Lewis until I knew she was a prime member. <laughs> well, you know. Don't you see Becky's? Oh, she's a prime member. That's when you say, well, I'm a member of the Ohio Allergy Club, so you got to go. <laughs> That's a good one, Becky. Uh, Nikki said, my mom is handicapped and has a hypoallergenic service dog. You're not the a-hole. She was shady. Uh, Muse, I volunteer as tribute. I'll punch her in the big <laughs> Thank you. I was with Lewis until I knew she was a prime member. <laughs> He's joking. Dollar in the jar. Oh, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> this person said I was out to dinner and a gentleman tried to bring a hamster in as a support animal. Oh, come on. Deep down, I think it was his date. <laughs> That's hilarious. Chance said emotional Ooh. support animals are legal and fine, but they're not protected uh, the same as a service animal since there's no verification process for ESAs. People really abuse it, and it ruins it for people who genuinely need them. I wouldn't bring my dog into a theater for two reasons. One, the loud sounds... Like, yeah. you're messing yeah, with your dog. Yeah, I don't know why dog. you put your animal in that situation. Service dogs, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, someone who knows more than me, I think service animals are trained for that kind of thing, but I think your average dog is not. Uh. So you're harming your dog. Not to mention, what if somebody has an allergy? Like, there are people that are allergic to dogs. Like, I wouldn't, you know what I mean? Anyway. You want me to take this woman walking on the little path? I do. The show her the electric fences. fence. <laughs> take her for a walk down Electric <laughs> Avenue, please. Tracy said, "Congratulations, you just had an entitled Karen experience." <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, dude, you are right. People act entitled. Take your, take your prime, flip that some bitch sideways, and stick it up your you. <laughs> Jeez. Everybody's on your side. Thank you. Well, so, and I, uh, there are also invisible disabilities. I have MS. However, many people with invisible disabilities don't need to be handy handicap combination. That's the thing. Right. Like, because I look at it as, okay, there was a lady last night that was on a walker. Yes, you sit in the handicap chair. You're physically impaired. There's a wheelchair. Yes. If you're an elderly lady that needs help 
being walked into the theater, you can sit in a handy. I'm not going to, hey, Grandma, up to the top. <laughs> like, See, there are some, there are people with unseen issues that requ- that that do uh, make them quote unquote handicapped that you wouldn't necessarily be able to see with your own two eyes. However, she lost the privilege of consideration when she tried to get one over on you from the get go. So she already tried to sneak, not sneak somebody else in, but tried to strong arm you to get another ticket and brings a dog in. And you're two strikes at that point. Now, when you tell me you're handicapped, that you don't get the consideration I would normally give somebody else because you're already being a jerk. Yeah. But yeah, you can't like you can't question uh, that. You're, really. you're good. You feel better now. Everybody's good. on your side. Everybody uh, agrees. Even John said he's on your side, even though you made fun of him getting kicked off his basketball team by his dad. I wasn't making fun of you, John. <laughs> Emily texted in and said, I hope Lewis feels better knowing Blitz Nation is on his side. It makes me wonder if we're just a big group of a-holes or if we're right. <laughs> well, then we're all going down together. Beth Potts texted in, I swear I think I know that woman with the dog. She is not handicapped. She's crazy. <laughs> And lazy. 